Hi guys. So update on uh, yule mwenzetu mwenye aliweza kupoteza maisha yake Saudi Arabia hakijifungua juzi. Sawa. Uh, nimepata jina yake ni ambaye anaitwa Recho but huku nje watu wengi humjua kama Ray. Si Ray ni jina ya mwanaume anajulikana hivyo. Sawa. So Recho alikufia place inaitwa Shifa huku Saudi Arabia. Na alikuwa na mimba alikuwa na ball alikuwa kemboi alikuwa ametoroka kwa contract alikuwa anafanya kazi nje and uh, alikuwa na ball na akaenda kwa mukunga muzalizi muzalisha kiji muzalishaji mukunga wanaitangwa ipo eh mukunga mwenye like makemboi wengi wanaamini yeye ndo uzalisha vizuri huku nje watu walikuja huku Saudi Arabia na matalent na wambia, ule utale matalent ziko huku huku watu wanapandaka mtu alikuja kama kadama lakini alitoroka pale nje akaenda kuanza kuuza dawa kamote sio anauza dawa za kufanya nini sio za whatever watu wako na talent huku usicheze so akaenda kwa mukunga amuzalishe okay mukunga mwenyewe ni mkenya ni mkenya tu alikuja tu kama kadama na akatoroka. Aku pale nje tu anazalisha. Kazi ya ni kuzalisha watu. Bebe ni mimba mkuje ni wachukulie watoto mnyo ndo kazi yake. So alipofika pale alikuwa na difficulties eh? during childbirth. Eh? Ikafika mahali akachoka na akalala. Mukunga na talent yake na wenye walikuwa wamepeleka msichana pale wakatoroka wakamfunika na wakatoroka na wakamwacha pale chini. Okay, wa, wenye tushaiza kuna kitu yenye wamama wanafaa wanajua ama wenye yenye wanafaa kujua. Ukizaa mtoto placenta ikose kukatwa haraka, ile placenta inaanza kunyonya damu ikirudi. Like uh, ina, inaanza kunyonya na, damu through kwa kitovu. Unajua placenta ni ile kitovu inaanza kutoa damu kwa mwili ya mtoto ikirudi na huku kwa placenta yenyewe. So Mtoto akikaa na placenta sana anaweza pia poteza maisha yake manake ile placenta inamunyonya. Sawa? Siji but mm, placenta ni kama ni kitu pia kuwa hai. You see? So ile placenta inaanza kunyonya mtoto ndamu. But kama mukunga mwenye aliamua kuanza kuchukulia watoto Saudi Arabia, hakuwa anajua kama ni riski pia kuacha mtoto na ile placenta pale. Sawa? But walifunika mamake na mtoto wakamwacha pale placenta kama haijakatwa wakamwacha pale na wakaenda wa Kenya tuko na Ross Jui mbaya ama Jui nini wenye waliweza kupigia polisi ni Waganda wenye waliweza kuita mkenya wa Kenya ni Waganda kukiwemo na kiongozi pia aliweza kupigiwa simu na hao Waganda like Waganda ndo walikuwa kwa ile building ndo waliweza kuita watu waweza kuita polisi Sawa na ilikuwa imepita pita madakika kidogo akiita polisi. So waganda wakapiga simu and the police came through na ambulance mbili. Moja kuchukua mwili, maiti, ingine kuchukua mtoto. Mtoto apewe first akaanza kupewa first aid, akaanza kukatwa the umbilical cord pale. Mwanza kupea tu mtoto matibabu hapa na pale, yani kidogo kidogo before wafikisho hospitalini na wakachukua na wakaenda and uh, update on mtoto because tulikuwa tunatarajia mtoto maybe atafika Kenya but again atafika Kenya aje na kama nane maybe kuna aledi mwingine alikufanga i don't know ilikuwa 2022 alikufanga Saudi Arabia na alikuwa na mtoto sawa but yule mwenye alikufanga back in 2022 alikuwa ametoka Kenya na mtoto na akakuja huko akazaa and then akakufa mtoto akiwa mkubwa kidogo. Sidio, si kama nakumbuka. So mtoto aliweza kurudishwa Kenya, sijui alifika aje, but some I guess ni mkenya pia alijitolea kwenda na huyo mtoto Kenya. Akafika Kenya kwa family. Sasa huyo mtoto mwenye mamake amezaa huko akikufa. Kwa mtoto imagine aizi toka Saudi guys. Imagine hiyo hospitali yenye walichukua akapeleka mtoto waliweza kumpea first aid na akakuwa poa na as i'm doing this video mtoto asha peanwa children's home ya Saudi Arabia for for care yani kulelewa huko una feel pain yenye nime feel guys nikisema hiyo kitu nyinyi muna feel the pain ya mimi na feel the pain nikisema mtoto amepeanwa kwa children's home i don't know venye wewe una feel but mimi na feel the pain na feel ni kama na chunwa hivi na finyiliwa na sindiliwa hivi na chunwa na chunwa na chunwa Mtoto as I'm doing this video mamake yako mochari mtoto ashapelekwa kwa children's home 
which means akibelewa kwa children's home atachukuliwa mapepa ama documents kama mtoto wa children's home because huyo mtoto hakuwa na any documents pale alikuwa anazaliwa hakuna any identification to show that huyu ni mama yake hata kama walimpata amekufa akiza hata kama walimpata mtoto wako na placenta and whatever na mandamu pale hiyo si proof ya yani huyo mtoto ni huyo mama unajua kuna kwa na ile uh, proof of birth ambayo ni birth certificate card of clinic ulikuwa unaenda clinic hivi kwa mimba sio huyo mtoto hako ana anything na we all know that watoto sikuizi kutolewa Saudi Arabia bila documents inakuanga ngumu sana so mtoto already lazima angepelekwa children's home for more treatment because venye mtoto ana grow anahitaji matibabu na since amepelekwa hospitali lazima tu afuatilizwe na hizo matibabu so akapeanwa kwa children's home waweze kumtolea mapepa za kuonyesha yeye ni msaudi ni wa Saudi yani hata kama ni mtoto black akae hapo watakuwa na mtibu na atakuwa anaelewa children's home so in short kama wa Kenya tumepoteza mama mtoto pia ameenda okay on the mother family pia ileza kupatikana and wako tu bado kujipanga kwa process ya kutoa mwili Saudi Arabia it's not easy for now hakuna group yenye imefunguliwa kuchangisha and all that as days goes by wakifungua group nitawaambia ama any way ya kuchangisha yenye ndatolewa nitawaambia but i'm just praying Mungu hapatie familia yake amani na ivute machozi manake this thing is very very hard to accept ni ngumu sana ni ngumu sana kukubali ni ngumu sana like wewe uliacha watoto Kenya na umekufa watoto wako watakuwa wanajua mamangu alizaa alikufa akizaa Saudi Arabia that's okay because kifo iko kila mahali so watoto wako watakuwa wanaona kaburi yako but kuna trauma ingine yenye hawa watoto watakuwa nayo we have a sibling mwenye yako inji nyingine amekataliwa huko we have a sibling mwenye mama yetu alikufa akijifungua na hatujai mumit na alikufia uarabuni hiyo itakuwa trauma yenye itasumbua watoto wako for the longest time so tuombe sana na aki mimi aki na wabembelezanga tu acheni kufanya vitu zitaingiza kwa shida aki si basi mkujange na family plannings mkikuja uarabuni is it possible guys kujangeni tu na family plannings mkikuja uarabuni it's better by the way it's better it's better ndani kuja tu hivi hivi tu ni kama juu naenda wapi unakuja tu kuna fanya fanya hivi mistake unajipata uko mimba sasa hizi ni mambo gani tunaletea anga familia zetu na venye tuliacha mashida kwetu anyway that's not why i'm here but all to god mungu asaidie to that family na mtoto mimi mimi changu kama mzazi tu ni kuomba mtoto akue sawa whether ako children so whether ako wapi hakuwe tu sawa sindi wa kwetu sawa that's all so recho ama rei rei mwili yake inaitolewa saudi itatolewa saudi family kijipanga kujipanga na maanisha pesa god who thank you so much for watching guys subscribe turn on the notification bell na kama una ni watch na uko warabuni mimi siwaambi yangi mimi siitangi kijiko at ile kitu ya kukula naitanga kijiko kijiko so kama uko warabuni na we ni kemboi funga mingu put your legs together wacha kulala na anyone wacha kukubali yaani kila mwanaume tu anakuingia na kuingia na kuingia na kuingia ndio sababu inafika mahali mnazalia huku hata mtu uji baba mtoto ni mgani say not that sijaona mtu amekufa ji dry spell so far so funga mingu okay